Hi everyone and welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I am here to explain Cambridge IGCSE ICT 2024 May June Paper 2 1 presentation part. In this part of the question paper it says that you are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. So create a presentation of 8 slides using the file j2421playgroup.rtf. So I will create a presentation. So open other files, browse and then I will just go to desktop to folder June 24 all files and it is called j2421 playgroup so now it consists of total eight slides so please at the top of top right of the slide a header with your name center number and candidate number so it says that you should go to the uh, view then the slide master move to the first slide and then you should include your name it says so I will include here our uh, the footer so slide footer it's gonna be my name center number and candidate number my name center number and now my candidate number what else place in the footer automated slide number left line slide number okay apply to all so now this name and center number should go to the right top and it should be just click on home should be a right align yes and then automated slide number left align so we don't need the date and time and we will move this one to the left and it should be left align so we don't need to put this all together yeah then it says the header and footer in the same position and all the slides just click on view normal view so you can see the candidate details and slide number on every slide at the same position locate the slide with the title our staff select the three bulleted list items after the text center manager who and format them to look like this so our staff only these three items just select and press a tab button from keyboard and then you can just quickly go to home go to the bullet list and then you can just simply select from here bullets and numbering so if there is any bullet that they want it is available fine otherwise customize and use one hyphen like this this is how it will look like and then delete the slide with the title our guiding principle and areas of learning and development so we just our guiding principle this one right click and delete the slide now use the data in the file j2421 test underscore csv to create a vertical bar graph so we will open from here the test scores csv file and we just simply click here like this now what we need to do is we need to 
create and compare one vertical bar graph achieving for only the subject literacy and mathematics so literacy and mathematics so we will select from here preschool and non pre and literacy and mathematics select this one and then we just simply click on uh, the option to create a chart so a vertical bar graph this is how it is going to be is it it shows only two records so now this is not the one so you just select these ones and then you select this one okay these two files then this one and then this one now you click on insert and yeah this is how it's gonna be now the next step is to follow the steps here it says label the chart with the title impact of early child care on test result so this is gonna be the chart title then they want us to display the following values only as data label along the top of each bar so we should click on the chart now add the data labels on the top of each bar as we can see and then the next step is to a legend showing preschool and non preschool so we can see that the legends already here and now scroll down format the value x scale to display minimum 0 maximum 56 and with the increment of 8 so right click we need to click on the option called just click here first right click and then we have an option to click here yeah the options yeah minimum value should be 0 maximum is 56 and with the major unit of 8 as they said this is what we have to follow and then we need to place this chart on the left of the bullets on the slide with the title academic performance copy this one and academic performance we should take this one to the right and we will place the chart over here the graph we can increase the graph size even and we can also increase this one yeah this is done now they said no words are split all that and label are fully visible yes they are and on the left side with the title long-term benefits create an arrow shape action button that look like this position this in the bottom right corner so we need to place an arrow like this and then format the action button so that when clicked it open the document with the file name j2421 live long.csv enter the text long life gain in the black font on the action button so we need to go to our slides so the the slide is should be and the slide name is uh, long term benefits long term benefits so we need to include action button okay position this in the bottom right corner so insert shapes and then we have an option called action button okay so we can just simply take one of the shape for example this one so this should be at the bottom 
right corner just like this and then right click hyperlink it with the document you can just simply go to desktop with the file as I mentioned lifelong I guess yeah okay click on ok and then after we will uh, not fill the shape shape fill with none and the outlines are black in color if you wanted to make it strong even you can just simply yeah and then you should include here the text so we can just simply insert a text box and we just write here that lifelong gains life life long gains lifelong gain is a single word yeah and gain G should be capital you take this one and just place it on the button here that's it and then we just need to uh, print out with the slides as they said take screenshot showing the action button link to the correct file just click here right click and edit the hyperlink so it says that the link to the correct file so as you can see the path and just click on OK and place this one as your evidence for step number 28 save the evidence document and then print the full presentation as handout in a portrait orientation with two slides per page in this case you need to click on file then print not all slides just click here two slides per page so this is how it will look like that's it and then just simply I will just simply save this one as with the name as I mentioned to Tawara Toads here and that's it save and that's the end of the presentation part and paper 2-1 now you need to print the evidence document as well which is here and that's it hope you have learned about the presentation the slide master and inserting the objects and creating it as a button action button to open a specific file so thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates